all my Vietnam veterans, welcome home. Germany, good night. All my active duty military personnel that's downrange, good night. It is now time for Big Sarge's Article 15. Uh, and it's ironic and funny that I just got through reading about what I was about to talk about. Huh, funny how God works, right? State of Maryland, come get this work. You know what they need to do? They just need to banish football in the entire state of Maryland for at least three years so they can overhaul it. So they can overhaul football in the state of Maryland from the college level all the way down to Little League. They just can't get it right. Like, they cannot get it right. And what I just read you all, two athletic trainers were just fired. They have a new uh, chairperson for the Board of Regents that came out and apologized for the board bringing back DJ Durkin after Jordan McNair had passed away. Right? Right. So, here we go. Seems like the state has an issue with football. According to Yahoo Sports, High school football players charged with raping teammates with broomstick in hazing ritual. Five boys on the Maryland high school football team are facing various rape charges after allegedly using a broomstick to assault teammates as part of a hazing ritual. One of the four alleged victims told police that he had heard about the tradition of brooming when he was in the middle when he was in middle school, but thought it was a myth when he pleaded uh, for his attackers to stop. They told him it was tradition, according to the report. So the alleged attackers turned off the lights in the locker room before pinning down their victims, according to the report. Two of the victims escaped after being pinned down while a 14 and 15 year old were allegedly assaulted with a broomstick. Are you serious right now? High school football players charged with raping teammates with broomstick in hazing ritual in Maryland. The same state that allowed a college football player to die due to negligence. Like, y'all just need to stop. Overhaul the entire football program from flag football all the way up to the college level. Like, this, like every school does not need to have football for three years. And you know what? So that got me to thinking. And I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've heard something like this before, right? Like, I've heard something like this before. And then I remember, white football player accused of coat hanger assault on black teen with disabilities will avoid prison. Y'all remember this? Y'all remember this, right? It was uh, back in December of 2016. An Idaho uh, activism group is questioning the state's decision to enter into a plea agreement that will allow a white football player to avoid jail time in the alleged sexual assault of a black teen with disabilities. Uh, what he did was he took the coat hanger. The young man who was brutally penetrated was viewed as less than our dominant culture, ideal of masculinity. Y'all remember this, right? Y'all remember when he took the when when the young man took the coat hanger in front of everybody and sexually assaulted this team. So now you got five high school boys who take a broom and and and, and, and rape these guys over here. And then I just told you two years ago about that, right? So it got me to thinking. I said, you know what? I need to look up some more stuff. Because what I can't believe is that I played the game. I played high school football. Did we have some hazing rituals? Yes, we did. But nothing like this. Hold on, because I'm running out of time. But I got to tell you all this. Hold on. So according to Outside the Lines, which is a uh, uh, part of ESPN, let me get this thing right. Let me bring this microphone down right here. 1980, right? 1980 at the University of Michigan, a freshman reportedly was given large quantities of alcohol in the player's off-campus house in what became an annual uh, uh, initiation ritual. He was allegedly stripped, shaved, covered with jam, eggs, and cologne, and left outside in near-freezing weather for 90 minutes. Four other players uh, were also hazed. All right, let's move on down to uh, Medford High School. A sophomore alleged he was forced to strip and run naked with a cracker in his butt buttocks as part of the traditional hazing game. Oh, it gets better. Let's move on. 1988, uh, Lynnhurst High School. Uh, one sophomore was allegedly forced to insert his fingers into the anus of another sophomore while 20 to 30 other teammates looked on. I'm going to stop right there. I, got, I can keep going. I can keep going. But here's the thing. This is what I don't understand. When did hazing become sexual assault, especially from these young men? You know what hazing was? Maybe putting a
putting a freshman into a trash can, making a freshman carry our pads, make, throwing all the basketballs onto the court and making them uh, get all of them and, and pick them up. Maybe do a 52 car pickup. I've never been involved where another young man had to strip down naked in front of other young men. I've never been involved in sexual assault in a hazing ritual. This says more about these young men than anything. I'm starting to think the more I read about that and all these nude and young men being tapped in their private regions with sticks and tying them up and stripping them down. Why are you keep, why do these guys have to be naked? You can't think of anything else to do. You can't think of anything else to do. It brings you joy to strip down another young man and look at him naked and then sexually assault him, and then you sit back and laugh and think it's funny? Y'all have issues. Mental health professionals. Y'all, there, there's some jobs out in these schools. Y'all need to jump into them. Brooming? You're going to cut the lights off and take a broomstick and, and sexually assault a male? Like, listen, it just I, I, I'm just baffled and perplexed by the fact that these young men keep doing these sexual acts to other young men and think it's funny. It's not. You all have a problem. You all have an issue. And you need to find out what that is. Because I tell you what, as far as for, for me and mine, let me, let me find out that one of them was done like that. You think that it's okay because you're doing male on male? No. It's not okay. Nobody should ever have to be uh, a held down, pinned down to have a foreign object put into them. No one. That is not hazing. That is isn't going to make this person a better person. It's not going to make him a better athlete. Nothing. Doing that is not going to help him in life. You're hurting him. Sports Talk with Big Sir.